Tragedy on a Livonia soccer field is ending with a plea deal tonight for the man who killed a referee with a single punch. 36-year-old Basil Saad made the deal ahead of a scheduled trial for second-degree murder that could have put him in prison for life. Only 7 Action News reporter Jeff Vaughn talked to Saad's attorney tonight about what he will have to say at sentencing. Jeff. Now, Basil Saad will be formally charged here at Frank Murphy Hall of Justice on March 13th. That is when he is expected to apologize. Tonight, we're getting an idea as to what he might say. He's been writing these prayers for the last several months on pieces of paper. He's actually sat there and written them out. And um, he wanted to share them with the family. Saad's attorney, Brian T. Berry, tells Action News what he expects his client to say to the family of 44-year-old John Benowitz the soccer referee that was officiating a recreational soccer game in July. Saad attacking Benowitz after receiving a penalty. Saad has told his attorney that during Am sentencing, he'll apologize, show remorse for the fatal punch, you know and ask for forgiveness. His wife in the courtroom today. She did not address the media. I talked to her days after her husband's tragic death. Anger, bitterness, um, I, don't, I don't understand the senselessness behind it. Since then, John's widow has told the media an apology would not be enough, and that she and her two sons wanted 36-year-old Saad to fry. He faced life in prison for second-degree murder, but the plea deal reached today was manslaughter, with a maximum of 15 years. However, it's a lifetime sentence for him because he has somebody's life that is weighing over him on his shoulders, and um, to this, he's deeply remorseful. Well, tonight I spoke with John Benowitz's widow, Chris, and I asked her about this possible apology. She said, quote, he has done nothing to show that he is remorseful and doesn't look upset about anything that he has done, end quote. Uh, by the way, Saad has pled guilty to a deportable offense, which means after he serves his time here, he could then be deported to his home country of Lebanon. Live in downtown Detroit, Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News. Carolyn, back to you. All right. Thank you much, Jeff. Here are some